When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. We're just trying to pick a spot. Don't know which one. That one looks alright. And there's plenty more along the line. So, don't know which one we want yet. Bella's gonna park us on the poles. <laughs> you got this, babe? You got it, Bella? Morning, babe. Morning. So the reason we're in Brisbane's in here, and it's got to come out. So last time we pulled the gearbox out, Lee pulled the whole thing out, um, and the guy said that we don't have to do that, which is awesome because it's really, really heavy. But at the same time, Lee hasn't pulled out just a bit of it, have you? No. So we're going to separate the reduction box from the gearbox. Hopefully lose about 50 kilos there. <sighs> so what have you done so far? So, I'm just in the process of getting four litres of oil out, which is another four kilos of weight, which all adds up. We didn't do that last time, we? Disconnected the, the selector cable. Um, just to connect the heat exchange. Um, just got to remove the spool piece, then hopefully the reduction gear case will come out, and then hopefully and get the gearbox straight out. There's a lot of hopefully there. Well, the only thing is just I'm not 100% sure how the reduction box is connected. Hopefully I can slide that off. Because last time we had a small little gantry to lift out the, the whole piece on the gantry this time so we're a little bit limited with gear <laughs> yes we are but we'll do it so luckily last time I pulled these bolts out I put a little bit of never seize on there which has made it really easy It's always a good idea to name the bag that you put your bolts in and separate them into what where they go. Shivers. <laughs> That's a big bit of gear. Love a walk around motor, wouldn't you, baby? Yeah. Oh. So awkward. 
You poor darling. <laughs> One bolt, two bolts that are hard to get to. Daddy, I can do that. <laughs> Yay! Shimus, my timbus. That's a wake up five. That's what we're going to get to shore. What? So now the next challenge is getting that over or getting it in our dinghy. So, what we're going to do, we've got chains on this. Okay. We're just going to Lift this up through our hatch, reposition it on the boom, swing it out over to the tender and ashore to the mechanic. So I'm guessing it's about 150, yeah, 150 kilos, so we don't want to drop it. Okay, let's see how we go. your toes. Just hold it there and I'll come up top. Oh, Bella, can you pull? Leave that one loose. Okay, can you put a little bit more on it, Mama? Okay, well. out of the road. It's a dual battery isolator. Because we're still in Brisbane, still waiting for our gearbox. It's one of the one of the many things to do. But on our boat we don't have any power going from the engine to our house bank. So what this will do is once our start battery is full, it'll throw the charge over to our house bank, which we don't really need. We've got sufficient amount of solar which runs the whole boat. But if we did get a week of bad weather um, and our navigational equipment is hooked up to our house bank I thought just for a little backup we can throw the charge from the motor over to our house bank once the start battery is full. Oh, have you installed it? Oh, yeah, that's what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know. We're halfway there. Oh, I'm you're just... halfway there. Do you know what that is, Bella? Yeah, it is. It's beef. Chicken feet. It's chicken feet. I was going to eat that. Okay. What's it like, no? It's good. 
the special power of being yeah. able to get whatever he wants wherever he goes. For free. And uh, he just went into a skate shop. He had his skateboard stolen, and before he left, he just walked into a skate shop, and a guy just gave him a skateboard, two skateboards. One for me. You're unbelievable, child. <laughs> Don't ever lose that power, mate. It's a gift. So, good news, we are going to pick up our gearbox this morning. Been in Brisbane for a week and we're well and truly ready to go. Let's go sailing. Just sitting and waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the rain. Here he comes. All the waiting is coming to an end. Now to get that into the boat. Good job, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Not in its position, but it's inside the boat. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to utilise this hatch here, line there, and then we're going to bring another line out through there. Probably should allow us to have the slack of the line here, down and we should be able to lower it into place, bolt it up, five minute job done. Away we go, works perfectly. Strong. It's gonna hold? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. It is suspended. So then I can just go plop straight in. Okay, that'll do it. Oh, okay, now real slowly. We're going to come down. A little bit of anti-seize on all these bolts. I'll just get all these in the whole way around and just slowly do them all up evenly. Do you want to tell everyone what you just did? Oh, well, <sighs> I just went back on the old uh, raw water inlet mount, which has a an inch outlet built into it, which has now snapped off. So we need a new box. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it was going to snap off while we were going along. That into there. So slow. Don't go anymore. Slow. Here. A little bit. A little bit. Taj and I just got back from Whitworth. We just rode, um, hired some bikes from the city and rode to Whitworth. We got lost, took a while, <laughs> but we got back. So we got a, a water strainer, the thing that Lee broke when he was uh, putting it.
putting the gearbox back in. And what else do we get? Stuff to rig up some lazy jacks, which we haven't got on the boat. So that'll... But Lee is still where he was when I left. In the engine bay. <laughs> what are you doing now, baby? I'm just cleaning up our cover plate for the raw water pump. But while we're in here, we might as well change our impeller. Change everything else. <laughs> In the engine bay with new gearbox, new oil, oil change service, new filters, heat exchange, new impeller. We've got to be good for a while, uh, right? Hopefully, you know, hopefully. We've we got to be good for a while. <laughs> Fingers, Fingers crossed. It's not too bad, like it'll still keep going, but you run the risk of all this stuff breaking off and running up into the heat exchange and then that's another issue. But anyway, we'll have a new impeller. That was episode 22. Hope you enjoyed it. We're getting excited. We're held up here in Malula Bar at the moment just with a bit of strong winds and um, the swells up a little bit. So we're just waiting for that to ease back and continue on to the start of the Barrier Reef and north. Yeah, so we just want to say thank you to our new patrons for supporting us. Well, to all our patrons for supporting us. Yeah, thank um, you. Yeah, thanks heaps. And if you're not sure how to become a patron, go to the link down below and click on that. At that, um, we're missing one thing that we feel would be a really cool part to add to our videos. We would love a drone. Um, the islands and the places that we are going to go are very, very remote and untouched and unseen. So we would love to share some really cool footage with you guys. One is out there, even has an, an opinion on what's the best drone um, to get as well. What's easy for the kids to fly, because I think they'd be pretty stoked to fly a drone. If you want to follow us, not on our YouTube channel, but on other social media. Like Instagram, Facebook, that's it, Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> the links are also down below. Um, if you could always press a like, if you like our video, that helps us out. And share it with your friends. We are hoping to inspire others by living our dream and sailing the world. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Peace. Tell me, brother, hear what I say.